Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review, so I hope you find this one interesting. This movie is a comedy from Scotland, English language, released in the year 2015, directed by Robert Carlyle, and this film is called The Legend of Barney Thompson. So The Legend of Barney Thompson is about this man named Barney. He lives in Glasgow, Scotland, in this barber shop. He's been a barber for 15 years. He's been a very good barber. He's always been the decorated one. But now that times are changing and the barbers around him are getting younger, he feels as though he's been pushed to the outer. So this makes him very frustrated, and he vents his frustration out on the his customers and also his co-workers and this ultimately leads him to being sacked so he's devastated by this news he, he thinks as though you know he can't do anything else with his life so he begs for his job back but he can't really get it so one day the guy who actually sacks Barney ends up going missing now this gets the attention of the, a detective in charge of the investigation into other missing people and he starts to suspect that something very fishy is going on inside this barbershop. So as more and more people go missing, Barney becomes a prime suspect because the people going missing are basically those who are working around him. So the detective believes that Barney has something to do with this, but basically this is just a whole big misunderstanding that is going to add up into a comedy of errors and what those errors are is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my son. Now my thoughts on The Legend of Barney Thompson. This was a very interesting, uh, darkly humorous film. Now Robert Carlyle, I always believe that as far as his acting is concerned, he, he possesses a strong level of charm to his characters. Now I'm going to make a case in point Begbie from Trainspotting. Begbie was this character who was a complete psychopath, but he had a strong level of tragedy to him in that if he wasn't such a psycho and he didn't fly off the deep end all the time, he could have been a likable guy. This is a guy that you could have been friends with, but because he's such... A, a psychopath and he has so many problems there's a level of tragedy that he is basically a victim of his upbringing a victim of his circumstances and so I thought that was very interesting in Robert Carlyle's performance and that's why I believe he's one of the best psychopathic um, characters that I've ever seen is because he does have that strong level of heart to him and that's what makes him scary is that you can relate to some of the things that he says you know in some of his lesser moments I felt as though okay this is a guy I could be friends with and so that this does give you something to really think about and so coming into his other characters and other films, although he does play very versatile roles, he always has that heart to him where I felt as though there's a lot of charm. And that's what he really brings to the the legend of Barney Thompson, is that this is a an absolutely horrific film, but it still has that level of tragedies, because Barney, the main character, who's also played by Robert Carlyle, possesses that level to him that makes him almost a pathetic character. He's like a tragic character. He's a victim of his upbringing. He's a victim of his environment. He's a victim of, you know, the working system where they favour the young over the old. And so because of all these tragic moments of all these almost pathetic ways that this guy goes about what he does, I, st I felt as though I can connect to him. I don't necessarily connect to him because I want to be his friend. I connect to him because he's just had so much hardship in life. And that's what makes it a very uneasy feeling that the movie has, is that these characters are doing horrible things. You've got a whole host of other characters that come into Barney's life that are equally as unhinged, but equally as tragic in that, okay, these are people that I don't want to hang around with, but there are elements to their characters that I could actually see myself in and so this is what brings that sense of tragedy is that if they were different people in different environments maybe they would have actually blossomed to be better people and so that charm to the film is always there that actually makes these characters blossom out to some level where I could actually sympathize with their situation so this is where the dark comedy really works in that when these horrible things are happening you feel as though you're condoning these horrible things you feel as though for 90 minutes of this runtime you're a psychopath yourself it's because it Robert Carl gives you enough time and attention to these characters to some extent that really delivers that emotional punch that the movie re really requires. And I'm going to compare this to a film called uh, Green Butchers which is directed by Ernest Thomas Jensen. Green Butchers was very similar in that it was a different story, but it was about damaged souls who are in a, a world where I felt as though they were out of their depths. And they were trying to cope with the world's pressure, but that, that has basically cultivated into a, a comedy of errors. And those comedy of errors are both very funny, but at the same time tragic. And as I said, the tragic characters are blossomed out to something that is very, very intriguing. So not only are the characters very interesting, I thought the script was fantastic. There is a strong level of comedy in the film that really works. And I think that some of their comedy set pieces were absolutely fantastic. It had me actually laughing out loud. But then you've also got those moments, there's a fine blend between the comedy and also those moments where you get a slight insight into the psyche of um, Barney Thompson. So the main character really does play a pivotal role in this whole film, and the characters around him actually play off him very well. So you've got acting performances from Emma Thompson, who plays Barney's mother. She's unrecognisable in her makeup. She's a very unhinged and very damaged woman herself. But once again, you feel as though there's family there. You feel as though she loves her 
her son Barney. But then she also sees Barney as this pathetic individual, as is you know, the case with everybody else. And so this central figure of you know, this sense of tragedy is starting to come off into other characters where I felt as though it was a domino effect. So I really liked that. I thought Ray Winstone's character, who was a detective, I thought he was hilarious. I'm this is a guy that definitely has a lot of the comedy in that his exchanges with his boss when he's getting very frustrated. You know, we've all had that boss where they were just really unfair and we feel as though we're just going to, we're building up our anger. We're just going to go completely ballistic. And this is exactly the character that you can relate to in that sense, in that he is just trying to keep his patience. He's trying to keep his temper with this woman, but you feel as though it's coming to boiling point. And that's really funny to see how that transpires. And then you've also got, you know, some of the exchanges between the detective and Barney that I thought was very funny. And it's very caricature so although it is taking on some very dark themes and horrific moments I still felt the caricature lifts it to a level where you can really enjoy it it's an incredibly entertaining film and it's an ent entertaining film that you feel bad for being entertained by so this is everything that you want from a dark comedy is that I'm actually making you feel guilty for laughing at the things that are happening and making you feel guilty for almost condoning what these uh, what's actually happening because I wanted to see these likable characters get a better chance in life thought the ending was very good it really capped it off and actually makes you think about your own life and I thought the cinematography was very good too. It was also a very downbeat, dreary sort of sense that the film has that I thought really matched the psyche of these people. So the mood is very consistent, and I thought that the, the laughs are thick and fast, and it basically had me laughing from the first moment to the last moment. So it really did nail a lot of the areas. My only problem with the film is not really a problem. As I, as I said, the characters are really well fleshed out, and there is a strong level of tragedy to the film. But I thought as though the emotional punch really wasn't delivered to its full extent. There were moments where you do get an insight into... Barney, you feel as though, okay, the poor guy, he is just out of his control, all these, you know, comedy of errors are coming about, not only is it funny, it also gives a lot of sympathetic quality, but I felt as though, there were moments where I got an insight into why Barney was the person he was, and I felt as though, okay, this is really going to hit me on an emotional level, but it never really feels like it delivers that final punch. It's threatening to deliver it, it or it goes halfway, but it never really fully hits you. So I still thought that I, I, there was room for improvement in these characters. They could have been fleshed out just a little bit more. They are fleshed out to a very satisfactory level, but if it was fleshed out just a little bit more, to give you a little bit more insight, it could have been another The Green Butchers, which I believe is a masterpiece in this, in this genre. And so The Green Green Butchers really delivers that as far as a full sort of character study as a and, and a very entertaining uh, you know, film. But in this movie, I felt as though it was more a little bit more concerned about being outrageous and funny as it was to really fully developing that emotional punch that the movie really needed to make it a masterpiece. But having said that, it's still a fantastic film that I'm highly recommending, and I'm going to give The Legend of Barney Thompson four stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later. Bye.